Peace, love, and light, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Star Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to do a general reading for my beloved Scorpios. You already know what that means. General means eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by. This is not a personal reading. So if you find that the messages do not resonate here in this reading, then that means you should probably check your other placements. You are more than your sun sign. So check your rising, check your moon, check your Venus, check your Mercury, your Mars, whatever you feel so inclined to do. This is also a timeless reading. So whenever you find yourself clicking on the video is exactly the divine time and intended for you all to do so. For anyone who may be new, my name is Q. I am Claire Audience, so that's why you will hear music playing in the background. Right now we have Jay-Z featuring Frank Ocean, and this is called Caught Their Eyes. So what I'm picking up is you're catching, um, it's almost like you're, you're catching someone shapeshift right before your eyes. Um, you're catching someone in a lie right before your eyes. You're seeing something in someone's eyes that lets you know there's deception or there's some hidden agenda, a secret um, plan, a motive. It's like you have, and this sensitivity card just grew up through, um, flew out. So I feel like you have grown sensitive to the bullshit shenanigans of people. And so you're catching people in blatant lies. And I feel like this is a very powerful psychic ability, clairvoyant ability. Um, but you are picking up on the fact that somebody's really bougazy or something that they're saying is just simply untrue. Like there is a sense that you're catching somebody in their lie. So there's a sense that this person has been getting away with it for a while, but then this one moment, this now moment, it's like you're finally seeing the light. And so with caught their eyes, you caught something within them that you don't um, rock well with and with the sensitivity the divine is telling you trust what you feel trust that inner gumption because you are right and exact in whatever you are feeling in that moment with that person um so yeah so that's what i was picking up intuitively with that message um so yeah i am intuitive i'm an empath and i also um am clairaudient um this will be as i said a general reading um and this is for scorpios so bodies of water um, just flew out as well. I feel like you receive a lot of intuitive messages when you're around bodies of water. Or maybe some of you all, when you're in the shower, certain ideas hit you. You'd be like, oh shit, that's a dope idea. Or maybe certain epiphanies hit you. Or maybe you get certain like downloads and transmissions when you're in the shower. A lot of people tend to get like really... Um, really creative ideas when they're showering. I know for me, I get a lot of downloads when I'm in the shower. Some of you all could be um, doing like um, spiritual baths. So you're you're kind of cleansing your energy. Um, with This song is called uh, Synergy that's playing right now. And this is by Tosh Sultana. So I feel like there's a sense of you being in harmony. Water is your element. So you can recharge, recalibrate, recuperate, rejuvenate your spirit, your mind, your body. Um, and you can also release. Water allows for you to release. It allows for you to heal. It allows for there to be like this this ability to let go of what no longer serves you. I feel like you've grown very sensitive because a lot of you have been, um, you know, taking those necessary times to sit in quiet, um, you know, to kind of meditate, to get things straight. I feel like a lot of you go to bodies of water. You may have a favorite lake, pond, ocean that you frequent. And when you're there, it's like you just feel like you're in alignment. I feel like you're also attracting someone who's also going to be on your frequency and vibration. So before we go any further, let me call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ascended masters, ancestors, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala and Mama Oya to bless me with the intuition, the discernment of my cards, help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibration of my cards. And so it is. So mode it be. 
Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So yeah, see, you've completed cycles. And when you complete cycles, new beginnings are, you know, kind of ushering in, ushering their way in. You're on like a new path, a new journey. I feel like you've trusted your intuition. That's why the sensitivity card is here, because I do feel like you receive divine intervention, divine downloads, divine transmissions. I feel you're also activated. You know, you're in your power, owning your power. I feel like um, many of you are also attracting someone to you. Something new is coming, is, is like developing, like it's in the incubation um, state, but I feel like it's it's preparing its way for you or it's pre preparing itself for you. So you're very powerful. Just as I said, you're very powerful and very intuitive. We got Rihanna. Some of you are definitely um, clairvoyants, clairaudience. You're very psychic. You're intuitives. You're channelers. Some of you could also be like scryers where you see imagery in the cloud. You look up and you're like, oh, my God, I see an angel. Oh, my God, I see a boy. I see a dog. I see a man. I see a heart, a pig, a pig an elephant. Like you can scry. Or even when you're looking into the flames of a candle or in, you know, the flames of your fly fireplace, for instance, some of you may be like seeing imagery in that that from the smoke emitting from the fire you could see imagery scrying is a very like profound gift so some of you all could be utilizing that gift it's like focusing your intention to create you know your desired reality that's what you're very skilled in and I feel with this ability, that's why you're so capable of seeing through people's bullshit. So that's why it's like that caught their eye. It's like you caught someone right before you shape-shifting. Someone that you may have held in high esteem. And then you saw something that you may never, never have picked up on. But you know your power. Don't back down. I feel like you're very strong. You're standing in your power. You're really a wreck right now because it's like whatever it was that was like, whatever this is that was causing you to feel sensitive or vulnerable or defensive or, you know, question the intention. It's like you're not backing down from what you feel because you know what you feel is what it is. It's like, you know, what you feeling is right and exact. And so right now we have, um, who is this? We have love language playing. So you're trusting, like, you're only going to be accepting of people who speak your love language. This is by Talib Kweli. And this is uh, featuring less Nubians. So you are only dealing with people that's on your vibration, your frequency, A alike, B alike. It have to be somebody that's on the same wavelength as you. That's all you're dealing with. Otherwise... Boop, leave a message. You have this sword here, so you have already made the decision. You're cutting shit off that just don't sit right in your spirit. If you have to question people's motives, you ain't rocking with it. And as I said, some of these people kind of slithered and sneaked their way to this next chapter of your life. You know, they were being real cunning, real conniving. But I feel like you were too sensitive to disregard how you were feeling. Because this... Bodies of water that deals with emotion, intuition. There was something hidden in those oceans as well. And I feel like a lot of y'all had to take some deeper dives to discern, you know, to discover what it is or what it was. And you're not backing down. You're not backing down because you now know that you have to practice self care. You can't allow people to be around you with these hidden motives and agendas. So you ain't backing down from what you stand for, what you believe in now. You know what I'm saying? You putting your needs first and foremost. You're prioritizing yourself over everyone else. You know, because maybe in the past, that's not what you did. So let's see what else is coming in for our beloved Scorpio's divine spirit of love and light. What else is coming in for our beloved Scorpio's divine spirit of love and light? What else is coming in for our beloved Scorpio's divine spirit of love and light? So with this love language, you ain't fucking with nobody unless they speak your love language. And that love language is about reciprocity. It's equal give and take. You know what I'm saying? It can't be just somebody coming talking about, give me, give me, give me. Hands looking like fucking cups. Like, get the fuck out of here. You know? Like, no. You know, so this is the, like, love language is very important to you. 
You don't fuck with nothing that don't speak your love language. If they're not emotionally intelligent, if they're not on your frequency, if they're not spiritual, it's like you just got your check. You have your whole like your your whole um, status quo. You know what I'm saying? And they have to meet certain uh, requirements to to fit into your life. See that Bridget? <laughs> she came right back out. Don't back down. Stand up for what you believe in. Ten ten on the clock. So that means if it's done, be done with it. If it's fin, be fin with it. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't be repeating shit. Don't be repeating cycles just because somebody comes back with this love language. If somebody don't speak your love language, you gotta keep it pushing, beloved. You gotta stand up for what you believe in because you're the emotional one in this equation. So you need to meet somebody that's going to be, like I said, your like mind, your A alike, B alike. Somebody that's going to be on that frequency that could give you what you need to keep you feeling fulfilled. You can't be pouring into no empty vessels and think you're going to be satisfied. That's just not the way it works. So you busy here manifesting what you want. You're telling the most high. You're telling your angels. You're speaking to your spirit team. You're talking to your ancestors. You're telling the animal totems. Yo, go deliver this message. But you are speaking to source. Speaking your words, your affirmations, your prayers, your petitions into the ethers. Because you want somebody that's going to speak your love language. According to Talib Kweli and Les Nubian. And the divine is saying, don't back down. 11, 11 on the clock. So you're trying. You're manifesting. We ain't even going to say trying. You're manifesting your divine masculine and your divine feminine into your life because i just saw that 11 11 on the clock and the 11 11 was on this clock here and so that's what you're doing and it's 11 11 11 29 is 11 so look at that you want somebody that's going to make you feel all tingly inside and shit you know what i'm saying you don't want nobody that's going to have you on the defense you know you don't want anyone kind of abusing you Having you questioning their intentions, their motives, their actions. You don't want that. And you're following your passion. You're moving to the beat of your drum now. You're doing what's going to sit right in your spirit. You're going to make yourself happy. And you're being honest. And that's why the divine is saying don't back down. If you feel like saying chucking up the deuces to a mofo and say peace be unto you, then so do so. But don't sit here and put your needs, wants, and desires to the back burner to appease and please somebody else. That's what you was doing before. That's why your ass grew sensitive because all them toxic relationships, connections, one-sidedness and shit. That's what grew you, you know, that's what made you realize your worth and value. So now you're answering this call. This is you you know, answering that, 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 you know, that energy, that passion that's erupting inside of you right now. So let's see what else is coming on. We got wrong speed playing and this is by Sierra Sean. So somebody was going at the wrong speed. You know what I'm saying? It was just like, maybe you was moving too fast. Look at this fairness is here. Mama Ma'at is showing up, letting you know that everything is going to be balanced. Everything is going to be solid. The situation is being handled fairly, justly for you. The scales will tip in your favor. Mama Ma'at has everyone's address. So if you do righteous things and you act in a just manner, then good things will come back to you. And that's what I'm seeing. Good karma is coming. Somebody's also going to receive karma. And with this wrong speed, I feel feel like somebody took a wrong, you know, took a wrong turn in a situation. This right here, compassion. Show compassion because somebody may be receiving karma and they may not be having like, a, 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 you know, a, a positive time at this moment. Maybe things feel real, real like, um... It's like there's no there's no movement, there's no action, there's no there's no progression in the situation with this wrong speed. So somebody feels like their life is like just kind of like on a standstill. And this is not your energy. I feel like this is whoever was doing this foo foo shit to you. I feel like they're stuck and stagnant in a loop. And the loop is because all of the times that they toyed and played with your emotions and your feelings. And look what when I said emotions. This card showed up. So they lack this emotional intelligence. You know, they lack the emotional intelligence. While you, on the other hand, you radiate love and light. So they was attracted to you like a moth to a flame. There was something about you that drew them in. You have a very inviting, uh, you know, personality. Um, your, 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 you know, your energy, your attitude is just something that's like, it's mesmerizing, it's intoxicating, you know what I'm saying? And it's also magnetic, you know, so people feel drawn to you. 
just like a moth to a flame. You're radiating love and light. So you have a beautiful, loving energy about yourself and you just naturally attract people to you. But you are also attracting not so good folks to you, like them unsavory individuals as well. That's why you're growing sensitive. And so you're going to have to like eventually start chopping off, you know, you know, some of that dead weight them people that just don't fit the mold. But you have here guilty conscience. So now somebody is sitting there questioning like, damn, how the fuck did I, you know, make these type of mistakes? I didn't see what she was saying or he was saying at the time, but now I really get it. You know what I'm saying? But whatever they are getting, it might be too late. And it might be because you shine and bright because you done came up into some money because maybe that brilliant idea that you had, that, that you know, really um, innovative idea led to some sort of, like, you know, it just led to some sort of abundance. And what did I say about you taking them spiritual baths, cleaning, clearing, cleansing, purging, releasing, letting go of? This is that energy. That's what that body of water is. You was on this emotional roller coaster ride. Round and round we go. And that's why I was picking up on that energy of somebody who, who knew that. We have Truth Hurts playing by Lizzo. And so this person definitely was someone who was able to mind fuck you. You know, they would use their words to tantalize you, to have you caught up in the rapture. And I feel like the truth hurt, you know, and the truth was that person was a piece of shit. And when you started to listen to your intuition, you realized that and you created a sacred space and you started to commune with your ancestors, your guides and ask for their guidance. That's when you started to take it to these bodies of water. This is a sacred space. You started to give offerings to Mama Oshun and Mama Yemenya. You know, you started to make those offerings and gave honor and respect, you know, and they were able to bless you with some sort of epiphany because the truth hurt you. Once you realize what was really, really going on, oh, that truth hurt. But it was the fuel you needed to keep it pushing and move somebody to the back, you know. So let's go ahead and see what we got coming in, going out, going on for Scorpio. So divine spirit of love and light. What else is coming in, going out, going on? We're going to clarify this message. So look at that. So deception, trichnology, the illusionist, be very, very weary. Can't be trusted. That's why you was growing sensitive. You was sensitive to this. Remember, caught their eyes. So you caught something in this person's actions, something in their words, something in their eyes. Because the eyes are the windows to the soul and you saw the shift. And your spidey senses was tingling and shit. And it said, be wary, mofo, because this mofo is not who they are parading around to be. Their motives are not savory. They do not have good intentions. They looking to take some shit, steal some shit, use you for some shit. But you were sensitive to that. You trusted your intuition. You trusted your inner gumption. You're attracting beautiful things to you. You're manifesting your dreams and your desires. That's why you're spending time at the sacred space, at these bodies of water, because you know that this rejuvenates and recharges your batteries while also allowing you to release what no longer serves you. So it's an exchange of energy. You're transmuting negativity and you're also accessing the energy you need from spirit, from universe, from source. And that's giving you the ability to attract what you want because now you're radiating that love and light because you've since purged and released the negativity. So now laws of attraction are in action. Oh, I love it. Look at that. Whatever you're manifesting, the divine is confirming for the second time. You going to be a millionaire, beloved. Whoever is watching this, you. Yes, you. You, 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 you. You're going to be a millionaire. Apparently, because this has shown up twice and the and, and I'm telling you, this is why this person is like hovering, stalking, watching. This is that energy. Look at that. Stand firmly on your square. And that's probably why they're holding on, clinging on, because they know that you're a star. You're a shining star. You don't just shine. You shine bright. So you're beautiful inside and out. There's an, ele an energy about you that just naturally attracts people to you. And so you're standing firmly on your square, grounded, balanced, and in alignment so that means you are very much in harmony. So when you're in this frequency, in this vibration, of course you're going to manifest what you want. You know what I'm saying? Of course. That's the way it works. And so right now we have, who is this? We have you playing by Q-Tip. And this is called the Renaissance Album. 
So yeah, you, like I said, you, 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 <laughs> you going to be a millionaire. Trust and believe. So I don't know what y'all doing. This is not for everyone, of course, but it's, it's, I'm telling you, like most of y'all, patience is a form of action. So whatever it is you're working on, the divine is telling you to continue to be diligent, continue to, you know, to be consistent, to work on this consistently because it will absolutely, um, it will be successful. So we have the yoke has been broken, redemption. This is clarifying bodies of water. What did I say? You all could be taking those spiritual baths. Give me a moment because this sun is literally like reflecting and I don't want to mess with y'all eyes. Hold on for one moment. Okay, that's a little better. It's a little dark, but hopefully you can see me. So this is the energy. This is what you did. This is how you did it. Those spiritual baths. You know, taking those little seven day baths, spiritual baths or doing your little um, detoxes, whatever you was doing, it absolutely gave you the ability to break the yoke, to cut yourself free from some karmic cord. So that's what you was doing. You was doing your due diligence to break off whatever this toxicity was. If it was a hex, a spell, witchcraft, black magic, your due diligence by doing your daily spiritual baths, cleaning, clearing and cleansing, purging, releasing and letting go of the shit that don't serve you is what has allowed for you to have a redemption so you're being redeemed there's some sort of redemption here and this is beautiful so with this song called you i feel like this is in pertinence to you whoever is watching all right and so look at that words of spell spells bind mind your words so someone was definitely like trying to discredit your character assassinate your character speaking ill on you because people don't realize that you know when you speak negatively about people or speak lies and things you know are untrue that's like literally like casting spells upon a person and i feel like you may have knew that because you was very sensitive to this deception and this you know envious energy around you this toxic energy around you so you was very proactive and you know cleansing your auric field your space your body your mind your spirit you know by doing those spiritual baths like i said some of y'all was smudging y'all was decluttering cleaning and clearing your homes cutting people off left and right but i feel like with this energy we see you're highly highly intuitive psychic you're clairvoyant you're clairaudient you are channelers like you are in the craft like you are very skilled you're very magical beings and you knew that there was someone that was really jealous of you like gathering in circles talking shit or just sitting there smiling in your face and I feel like with that caught their eyes you caught something that made you realize like damn these motherfuckers is not really who I thought they were I feel like you was genuinely giving to those situations and remember these are not those people that you already cut off these are people that kind of like was like like I said, shape shifting. So they was pretending, you know, they was pretending, sitting there talking to you about the other motherfuckers. Like, yeah, I'm so happy you cut them off because they were not good for you. Meanwhile, them, they, the person saying that also had some disdain that they was carrying. So it's like you literally had to rescan. You had to scan your whole group. So let's see what's going on. So we have Ig and Me um, by Chico DeBarge playing. So yeah, you had to ig the ignorance because people was igging you. They was, you know, they was aggravating your spirit, irritating your spirit, you know, and, and I feel like that's what, you know, you, you really started to focus your intentions on like changing your circumstance overall, like removing yourself from these situations. And I feel like that's how those downloads came through, like telling you what steps you need to take to remove yourself. Because I feel like even some folks was ghosting you with igging me, you know what I'm saying? You know, maybe, you know, Igan is ignoring, but Igan is also like, um, you know, ignorance, which is why I was saying like, you know, these people was like irritating your spirit and you knew that you had to like kind of like manifest something else, another reality to slip into another dimension, <laughs> to try, you know what I'm saying? Because it was like that, that reality you was in with those folks that just wasn't cutting it. So why is Rhiannon in here? See that? So you went deeper. You went deeper and it says, you know, you haven't scratched the surface. And so that's why I was telling you, like, there could potentially still be, you know, some folks that you have not really, um, that you have not really looked at 
in terms of what their motivations are. You know what I'm saying? And so the divine is telling you to trust your intuition to go within um, and manifest something new. You know, trust whatever it is you're feeling intuitively. Be discerning in the situation. When we say go deeper, this is about taking a deeper dive within oneself to do those introspective or reflective type of, it's like self-discovery almost, but it's also taking internal self-audits in these circumstances, like why, who, what, you know what I'm saying? Who are these people? What's going on? Why do the, you know, why do I feel this way around these people? So with this ig in me, I definitely feel like something was irritating your spirit and irritating your soul. And this is because they were very immature. They weren't on your level. They didn't speak your love language. They weren't on that same vibration and frequency. And I feel like that's why, um, you know, with this energy, you was getting really annoyed. You was getting aggravated. So why is um, don't back down Bridget here for Scorpio's divine spirit? Why is don't back down Bridget divine spirit of love and light? May I have a message of love and light for our beloved Scorpio? Thank you, spirit. Look at that. Manifest that shit. You got the power. So you know that. And that's what the divine is telling you. Don't back down. Manifest what it is you want. You know what I'm saying? Ig the ignorance and keep it pushing and go after what it is you want. Your dreams, your hopes, your desires. Because you are the alchemist. you got two cards, you know what I'm saying, here telling you with sorceress. That's a master manifesto. Rhiannon is a master manifesto. You're a shining star. You are a shining star. So you have the ability to manifest what you want. In fact, you have. And that's why you're being seen as someone who is shining bright. Because you are in the limelight and that's why there's a lot of hate. And that's why there's people who feel entitled or people who feel jealous or a little envious. My nose is itching like crazy. So I do feel like you got some people nosing around in your business, looking up. You know, they could be doing Google searches on your ass. They could be doing background checks. They could be doing anything, you know, it, to, to further investigate what's going on. You know, and maybe this is why this is here, because somebody is like investigating you or, you know, doing some sort of stalking. You know, these people like are people that I feel like you they feel like you're ignoring them, you know, because it says ig in me. So I feel like they feel like you're ignoring them, like you've dismissed them. And so this is why they have this this frustration, this anger, this angst, this disdain, because they feel like who the fuck you think you are? You just going to cut me off. And it's like, motherfucker, you was no good to begin with. So, yeah, I'm going to cut you off. But you're a shining star. They see you in the limelight, getting attention, recognition, rewards. Some of y'all have moved, relocated, got new jobs, got new cars, new homes. Like, this newness in your life. Something new. And I feel like there's also, like, a potential for wish fulfillment. And this is justified. Like, the divine is giving this gift to you. The divine is setting everything straight. Balancing the scales for you. And we have Music is My Sanctuary by Gary Bart. So some of you all will be shining stars if you are musicians, singers, rappers, writers, artists of any sort. If you play instruments, if you do anything in music, that's your sanctuary. That's your place of peace. That's your solitude. That's the place where you feel like life is so simplistic. You know what I'm saying? And so I feel like that's why the shining star is here. Because some of you all are going to be, you know, the next Stevie Wonder, Shaka Khan. You know what I'm saying? The next Nazir Ben Aludara. The next Rakim. You know? And, and, and I shouldn't compare, but I just want to, you know, use that as a metaphor. Or use that as an example of, like, who you're going to be. The next Adele, Beyonce. You know what I'm saying? Some of you all are writers. Some of you could be the next freaking Timbaland. You know, the next Missy Elliott, producers. You could be producers of music. The next Jay Dilla, you know, this is beautiful energy. And keep at it, you know what I'm saying? You could be the next Miles Davis out this mofo. Dizzy Galepsy, you know, so keep shining. Billy Holiday. So you, music is your sanctuary. Some of you all can be also like Claire Audience. There could be some messages, very sensitive messages coming through for y'all. And y'all need to trust your intuition. So why is my art fairness here? Because it says the situation will be handled fair. So this didn't come out, um, but I'm going to take it anyway. And so what we have is I want to get to know you better digging on you. So this is your karma is that you're coming into a situation with somebody who's like genuinely interested. You know, they're attracted to you. They like what they see and they want to get to know you better. So this is somebody that will come in and, you know, literally, literally court you. Look at that. 
We have pay, uh, promotion, pay increase, lucrative business deals, and be thankful. I, I, you can't make this up. So some of you all are absolutely coming into some money, and this is your karma because of what you all, you know, the work that you all have been doing in this process. Like you have not been sitting on your hands or twiddling your thumbs. You're coming into a spiritual partnership according to numerology here. This is somebody where it's going to start off really innocent, you know, conversations on the phone, late night conversations, taking dates, you know, to the park or going on dates to the park, rather, you know, like doing things out in nature or taking walks, um, going to the park, you know, going to a fair, you know, just little cute things, you know, just like really spending time, time where there's a lot of conversation flowing, you know, just good conversation, good company. And this is also a spiritual partner. So this is someone that your ancestors, spirit guides, deities, and your, your ascended masters are coupling you up with. So this is brewing. This is incubating right now. This is in the process, in the making. Because that 20 sign represent, 27 represents the vibration of 9. 9 is the energy of change. That's the highest number of change. So something's changing. And so I feel like with this music as my sanctuary, I feel like you two may share an affinity Toward, you know, towards the same type of music. Maybe you both will be musicians, you know, but we have spiritual career and spiritual partnership. So you and your partner may share, you know, the same interests and you all may become business partners, you know, along with, you know, love partners. Like this is going to be that type of union. This is someone that's going to be like a lover because we have spiritual career. And so with this pink around, I feel like this is something you would genuinely love to do. And the train is going by as confirmation. So this will be something that you genuinely love to do. This is something you have a passion for. And with this music is my sanctuary still playing. I feel like that's what your spiritual career could may be. You may be artists that, you know, you, you are conscious artists. Or you make music for the soul. You're not out there doing trap music. Or you're doing gangster music. Whatever the hell they listen to out here. But you're l making music for the soul. Something that your grandmother could listen to. And not feel offended. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's that type of thing. Whatever it is, I feel like you're going to meet your partner in your field um in your field, whatever it is you're doing because you got spiritual career, spiritual partnership, and the two of you may share that affinity, you know, towards that. And that's may be what draws you two together. Look at this rebirth. You know, you've had a rebirth, a re, a start over. And this is because you have grown sensitive and since released, purged, cut off what wasn't serving you. So, yes, there's a rebirth because you've gone through enormous change. There's been some sort of like sudden upheaval in your life, but you had to go through those trials and errors, those moments of learning, growing, and evolving. And now you're moving on to new beginnings. So, let's tap in, tune in, see what's coming and going out going on for Scorpios with this numerology deck. Okay, so we have one card that flew. So, we're going to see what that is. Look at that abundance. See that? So, somebody's trying to do the most because. They see that you have a lot of money. They see that you're coming into all this money and they nosing around in your business trying to figure out if you qualify for this child tax credit, if you're getting child tax credit, if you're getting your credit, whatever the hell they trying to conjure up. It's like they're being very deceptive and you're sensitive to the shit. So something in the eyes, but your abundance, they're, they're, they're sneaking and snaking and like kind of like, um, you know how... Um, like they're circling, circling around you like um, one of those, um, what do you call those birds, vultures. You know how when a vulture sees or notices, you know, roadkill, it'll just be circling in the sky, waiting for the opportunity to, you know, to hit, you know, to touch ground. That's what I feel like this person is doing or these people, because it could be very well a lot of folks. You know what I'm saying? Because I do feel like Scorpios, y'all are in your bag, you're on your shit, and there's a lot of people real jealous and envious of the energy that you're emitting right now. Like you're in this vibration of love and light, you in at peace, you ain't sweating the small shit, you're doing your thing, you on your square, you doing things, you know what I'm saying? Like you're very sensitive, so you ain't around a bunch of fuckery, you know what I'm saying? Because you're being an individual, you're independent, self-sufficient, self-reliant, and that's what's drawing people to become very envious and jealous because because you're able to do it alone. You know what I'm saying? They were sitting there banking on your ass failing. So let's see. Why is bodies of water the yoke has been broken? So yeah, you broke free from a codependent relationship, I feel. That's why that individuality was there. I feel like that was a divine lesson. Something destined for you to go through and experience. 
See that? You had to learn to be a leader. I can't make this shit up. You had to learn to be your own leader and not be led like you were some fucking sheep. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, you are a leader, a born leader. You know what I'm saying? Picture that. Picture Scorpios. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Dimming a light for a motherfucker that's like incompetent. Like hell to the no. So you had to stand in your power and own that shit. That was the change that you made. That was the positive changes you made. You owned your power. And in owning your power, you broke the yoke. That was the redemption. Redemption song. Like Bob Marley said, like, that was your redemption, was breaking the yoke. And the the greatest trick the devil ever fucking pulled was making people believe that he did not exist. And that's what this person was doing. They was a trickology. They was, like, into trickology. They played a lot of mind games. They were so used to getting away with shit because nobody ever caught them. But you caught their eyes. You caught that shit. You caught the shape-shifting. You saw the damn eyes. And that's why you you literally, you cut the head off that snake. You cut the fucking head off. We got health here. So now, this is your mental health. You know what I'm saying? You started to become more strong because you kind of freed your dome. You released whatever this, you know, mind fuckery was, gaslighting, trick knowledge. You know, that, that's somebody that plays a number on your mental health because they're, they're like literally manipulating you psychologically, emotionally. And I feel like that did affect you uh, to some degree. But, with you know, that had you like kind of like up in your head because this eight to me could be like that vibration of the eight of swords. But a lot of it is self-deception. When you, you know, when you submit your will to somebody, then they're going to completely take Take it and run with it and have your ass, you know, doing whatever the hell they want you to do. Do some something strange for a little bit of change. They're going, you know, flip the script, have you giving them money and ain't doing shit like that. They will work numbers. Manipulators and narcissists, whoever you're dealing with, like they play a lot of games and the game is just to get what they want. So they'll stop at nothing. I feel like they messed with your mental health because this is purple inside of the symbol here. So I feel like it fucked with your mental health for a, t a long time until you finally freed yourself you freed your dome and you started to pay closer attention to how you were feeling around certain unsavory energy and that's what led to you kind of releasing you know that's what led to you doing those spiritual baths that's what led to you ultimately breaking the yoke and cutting yourself free so let's see why is um rhiannon sorceress go deeper you haven't scratched the surface here thank you spirit so we have parenting so this could have been the father the mother to your child this could be somebody who was definitely, you know, going through something right now. Somebody's going through something. They're not communicating what they're going through. You know what I'm saying? This could be somebody that you obviously will always have some sort of love or an uh, affection or a, a affinity towards because you, you know, you co-created life with this person. But I feel like there's something that you don't know or maybe something they don't know about you. But I feel like you absolutely have to trust what you know, what you feel in your heart, in your gut. Because there's something else going on. And that's why the divine is saying go deeper. Go deeper when it comes to this scenario, this situation. Let's see what else. I want to get another card for go deeper, Rihanna, and parenting. Because this number, this is another nine. So maybe somebody got somebody pregnant. Maybe somebody is having another child. Um, and then we have this music. See that? Music is your sanctuary. This is like your music. What is this song right now? It's telling me to listen to this song. And we have double up, and this is by Nipsey Hussle. See, somebody didn't double up on them condoms. <laughs> they should have doubled up because it seems like there's something you don't know. And that's why it says further investigation needed. And then it says, you know, Rihanna, it says you are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. So maybe some of y'all are trying to manifest having a child. Maybe some of you want a baby and you're having some, you know, um, fertility um complications and so you could be going you know to someone to see about you know how you can um you know what your you know what your chances are to becoming pregnant you know to becoming um a mother or you know whatever so i feel like maybe the divine is telling you to investigate more maybe some of y'all got some some you know some troubling news you know somebody done told you that you didn't have enough eggs or something you know and and so they're telling you go deeper you you haven't scratched the surface so maybe there is um a potential if there's another uh path or another way another means so go deeper when it comes to that because we have double up. Maybe somebody's pregnant with twins. 
Or maybe there's a situation because double up, that's like two. And where I ain't telling no lies, I just, so I feel like, yeah, you know, with, with this mu um, manifest that shit and music, I feel like a lot of y'all are manifesting like a career in music. Like you have a passion and you're going for it full throttle. Like you're not going back down. You're going to double up on it, double up on the time that you put into it, the intention. You're going to double up and put more hours on that studio session, but you're really not backing down. You're not going to be afraid. You're following your passion. Remember that passion showed up. So I feel like this is truly like your passion this is your calling and so you're being told to do that and it's going to lead to some sort of promotion some pay increase some sort of bump and look at that i didn't even see that and somebody's trying to block this blessing because they know it too but we have you will be the next millionaire so there's a sense that some of y'all absolutely have some sort of wish fulfillment in your, you know, achieving your goals but somebody's sitting here like trying to hate on you hating from the sideline you know, trying to like block your blessings or wish harm on you. We got financial discipline. So there's going to be some some change in your finances. I feel like a lot of you, because you've gotten rid of this old toxic, you know, old using, you know, old like leechy, goddamn parasitic energy vampire, that your money flow is better. You know, that you're fine, you're disciplined, you know, financially, like you're able to, you know, maintain your finances better. You're able to, you know, not have to rob Peter to pay Paul. Like you still got a little something left over after payday, which is something that's not usual. And it's because you was dealing with somebody that was like a succubus, somebody that was just constantly like taking, taking, taking and not giving anything. So now you got a better you know, a better grasp, you know, you're able to double up on things, get things handled with no problem. So why is my odd? I want to get to know you better digging on you here for our beloved Scorpios. Why is my odd? I want to get to know you better digging on you here for our beloved Scorpios. I have a message of love and light. Yeah, somebody definitely trying to, you know, trying to gaslight you because they see you hustling your ass off and look what I see first spiritual career so you're definitely coming into some spiritual career we have this card here adventure I mean follow your dreams and then we have adventure so the divine is telling you to follow your dreams double up on your dreams this is your time this is your time something's going to manifest for you and I feel like you're going to you're going to meet somebody you know perhaps at that studio session you're going to meet somebody you know, when you're purchasing, you know, that new laptop to record your music or that new microphone at that music store. Like you're going to meet somebody that's in the same field of study because we have spiritual career here. So something that you're doing. So these cards also flew out. So we have individuality, spirituality. We have relationship change, synchronicity, and health. So, yeah, I definitely see that you're going to have a relationship change because you're coming into a partnership with someone that speaks your love language and that shares the same passion, goals, interests, and is also spiritual. Look at that happy ending on the bottom of the deck. It's going to lead to a happier, uh, a happy ending, that happily ever after. So let's see who this hating ass mofo is that's sitting back worrying about what the fuck Scorpio's got going on. Oh, hating mofos. What the fuck is wrong with people? I just don't understand that. Can somebody really help me understand? Because I'm really like, I'm I'm like ignorant to, to the hate. I don't get it. I mean, and I guess it's because I don't do it. So I don't get how one thinks that way. But it is like, it is really crazy. So we got rain right now. You got, look at this. Look at this. Look at this energy. And I'm about to clarify this. <laughs> Motherfucker trying to take you out. <laughs> And they're using the tongue, too, because that sword can represent the tongue, the words. You know, that's air energy. So they're using words, and you're grown, You're sensitive to it. You know what I'm saying? You see them. You see exactly what they're doing with this rain. Rain is um, playing by SWV. So, yeah, this person knows that you are an alchemist, a magician. They know who you are. They're trying to attack your ass either through some sort of um, spiritual, um, spiritual um, warfare you know what I'm saying? But with this rain, I feel like, again, that could be what I was picking up on in the beginning when I was speaking to some of y'all, maybe getting those epiphanies, those downloads when you're in the shower, or maybe some of you are taking those spiritual baths. The rain also is re very representative of like emotion and intuition. So I feel like you already know who this is. This is the two of pentacles. 
I don't know how this is the two of pentacles. These could be people at your job hating on your ass, hating on something you do, smiling and beguiling in your face, acting like they're cool. Hey, girl, how are you? How's the kids? How's the family? And meanwhile, as soon as they turn their back, they talking shit. These are people that don't like you. And the funny thing is, look at this. He's stabbing this person in the front. You know what I'm saying? In the front. And I feel like, remember what I said, you caught their eyes. So it's like you caught them in something and now they're trying to like, you know, they're coming at you even harder because it's like the jig is up, motherfucker. Like, I see you. So look at this with this nine of swords. Now they're up and they have 444 on the clock right now. So this message is for you. This is how somebody is now feeling. Regret, remorse, shame. Maybe this is you feeling like you've been deceiving yourself or maybe this is somebody who's been wearing that mask. You know, this person that was a trichnologist and a Illusionist, somebody that pulled the veil over your eyes just to get what they wanted. Now they're struggling here because now they're suffering from some sort of karmic fate because Mama Ma'at has everyone's address and everything you do in the universe gets thrown right back to your ass. You cannot throw some shit and not expect it to boomerang back at you. The, ener the divine is going to match your energy. That's why your energy needs to be right. So now somebody's up at night. This is suffering. For mind fuckery, this is also, you know, suffering from um, insomnia, not getting rest, sleeping on a guilty conscience. And we have Cause I Love You playing by Lenny Williams. So this person trying to convince you that they love you. And remember, that tongue is a forked tongue deception. So they telling you all of this shit. You know I love you, girl. Don't you know I love you? <laughs> That's from that damn thin line to be between love and hate. And look at this. The king of chalices. You sitting here chilling. You like, yeah, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? While they sitting here going through the motions. You know what I'm saying? Trying to figure out where they fucked up and how you was able to catch on. They didn't know that you was a damn magician. Like you, the, you're very sensitive to inform, um, information because you're an intuitive. So you looking right at them. You don't. They don't realize like you caught them in the act. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> I see you. I see exactly what you're doing and I know exactly what you're up to. And so now they sitting here like, damn, they sitting here cussing themselves out in the mirror like, how the fuck? And it's because look at your fucking face. What you think I was going to notice that? You're a damn demon. You're a whole demon seed, mofo. Fuck is wrong with you? I see you. Oh, hating ass motherfuckers. I can't stand that shit. Part of my language. Don't you see the passion? I'm like, ugh. I can't stand a hating motherfucker. What the fuck is wrong with you? Get your life together. Go do your work, okay? We're doing our work over here. We have the, um, look at this judgment. Don't you know I love you? So now they're singing you the song and dance. Now they want to convince you they love you. Now they want to convince you that this shit is love. <laughs> they want you to think that this shit is love. Meanwhile, you know your love language and it don't feel or look like this shit. So that's why you're sensitive because you know shit that just don't sit right in your spirit don't feel right for a reason. And it's because it isn't right. So now... You're making a judgment call and you're like, look, I'm moving on. I'm going on because look at all this new shit out here. I'm looking for bigger. I'm looking for better. I'm looking for somebody that's going to be my spiritual partner. I'm looking for somebody on my wavelength, my vibration, somebody I can have conversations with, somebody I can play, lay, and, um, you know, and, and, and <laughs> play and lay with, you know, play, lay, and pray with. That's the way. Play, lay, and pray with. You know what I'm saying? That came to me today during one of my readings. So that's what you're looking for. You want somebody that you could pray, lay, and um, play with at the same time. And so you're getting swept up. You, you're allowing the divine to take you where you need to go. You're not going to allow yourself to just go wherever the wind blows you anymore. So with this King of Cups, somebody got a lot of love. And I feel like this is that person that's coming in. So look what we have here. We have the Six of Chalices. So this is someone from your past, someone you could have had children with, somebody that's acting very childish, someone that needs to heal that inner child. And this is that person that feels entitled to whatever you have, regardless of what they've done. We got the seven of wands here. So you blocking out all the negativity, standing your ground. You ain't backing down. You standing for what you believe in. And all these people are perturbed by that because you're shining bright. Look at this bright light. This is the light that's shining. And that's how you look to these people. You're attracting all this energy, good, bad, and different. And it's like you finally broke the yoke. You know, because you took action, you took lead of your life, you took the reins and you chose the direction you was going to go. You didn't allow these people to manipulate, gaslight, mindfuck or any of that shit because you let that shit go. You released it. You let it go for good. And so all this love they talking about, you like, look, you got to show me because I don't know what love means. <laughs> 
unless it's shown. It's, it's, it has to be an action, beloved. So let's see. Why is um, parenting go deeper in sorceress here? Why is parenting sorceress and go deeper here for Scorpios? I have a message. Thank you, spirit. And so we have three messages. Four. God damn, there's about 50 messages. So we have the wheel. See that? So this is the wheel of fortune. So things are turning in your favor, whatever blockages, delays, whatever it is. Anybody trying to block your blessings? If this was a, a potential, um, you know, uh, you know, um, ex lover or whatever, the father to your children, your child. I feel like, you know, there's something being moved. There's a turning point in this situation. But I feel like this is also saying this karmic situation is ending. It's coming to a close and you're now coming into something new. And it's because you've manifested some new beginning, some new start, some new opportunity to come in to usher its way in. With this Knight of Wands, you was dealing with somebody who was out there serving the D, serving the P community p whatever this person was in and out they were non-committal they would go wherever the wind blew them and they would have had a wandering eye so they was constantly looking for suitors that's what this little playboy energy is six of cups is somebody who feels like they could just leave come back leave come back talking about i miss you i love you but it's all deception it's all gaslighting it's all tricknology and they will even say i love you but you know what the fuck love feels like so you ain't gonna fall for that shit so they're going to tell you and try to convince you that they love you, that the shit they was doing to you in the past was love, you know. And so here we have the Ten of Wands. You're escaping this shit. This is the emotional roller coaster ride. You're finally getting off the, the, the crazy train and you're getting out and you're going to completely release whatever this negative shit was. It was a long and, and, and arduous battle, but I feel like you're finally um, letting go of the burdens. You're finally freeing yourself of the responsibilities of being in this connection. I feel like this person literally um, left you for dead. Like you had to do everything on your own. The parenting is non, the co-parenting is non-existent. Like this person don't do shit for their child. They ghost their child. They act like a child. And that's why they're stuck in this energy because that they're not only deceiving you, they're deceiving themselves. They're deceiving anybody and everybody who will listen to their fucking sob story. That's why we had words of spells and spells bind because this person is so busy trying to defamate your character or trying so hard to discredit you. And it's like, how can you discredit someone who's absolutely shining like the, you know what I'm saying? Shining bright. Like the divine is not going to lie to you and appease what you feel. This is saying that you are literally literally you know like a, a, a excellent parent and this person does absolutely nothing but leave you with all of the responsibilities burdens you know what i'm saying they're not there for any critical moments they don't support you financially or their child they don't help out in any way they're just non-existent so it's like what you're doing is you're ending that cycle and you're doing what you have to do for yourself with this um this is the moon so these are all the lies the deception the tricknology we got the three of pentacles so this person may come back under the guise of oh yeah you know let's collaborate let's work together i love you we could do this we are family and all that bullshit but the divine is telling you to pay attention to the detail you know because the devil is in the details and this devil is sitting here lurking so it's like you're almost going to be doing a deal with the devil if you even entertain this shit. Because this person got a lot of shit that they've been up to that you have no clue to, you know, no clue about. They've been doing a whole lot of shit behind your back and you have no clue. No clue at all. But you do. But you don't. It's like you know without knowing. So look at this. With this Rhiannon energy, you absolutely are very psychic and intuitive. So you do know. And with this energy on the bottom of the deck, the three of wands, I definitely feel like you're manifesting. You're taking some action because this is like the ready, set, go to me, the, the three, three of wands vibration. So it's like you're planning, you're preparing, and then you're going to take off. You're going to take that action. And that's why you're not backing down because you literally have strategized something. So you're going after something fearlessly. And it's in regards to perhaps your spiritual career, your music career. It's involving music. We have Skylark. Um, by Horace Andy and so a Skylark so yeah you got your you know your eyes on the prize you know what I'm saying and you keeping your eyes on the prize look at that oh, yeah the three of wands so let's see why is um don't back down manifest that shit and music here for Scorpios divine spirit of love and light thank you spirit and we got a card that flips let me get that one and look at this, Ace of Pentacles. I can't make this shit up. This is like the third time. Look at this. 
me show you what this energy is. Something y'all are doing in music is going to definitely blow up. I feel like if y'all put y'all money, like your music on YouTube, or if you put your music on Apple, or if you put your music on Amazon, like you're going to see a bump in your sales. You're going to start seeing like your channel blow the fuck up and you're going to start getting some really big payments. Like money is coming in. It's no, look at this, the ace of pentacles, like there's something coming in and it has something to do with you following your dreams, you know, like with you you know, following your passion, not backing down. It's something you have manifested and it has something to do with music. I feel like the divine is also telling you like, pay attention to music because there could be some, some messages. Some of y'all could be clairaudient and this is going to let you know like, yo, um, that message was for me. And somebody may know this because they could be getting like psychic reads. Like I said, somebody's doing some sort of research. They're spying, they're stalking. They could be Google searching, background checking. They could be going to a psychic or some sort of, um, tower reader getting reads on you looking at looking to someone um to feed them information about you this could even be people at your job you know spying in on you people that you you know um make some coins with or people you've planted seeds roots with family members friends fake ass friends these are people like that that would like you you didn't feel no reciprocity in these connections like this is this is you this is you like the, the, the straw broke the camel back several times and you had to crawl your way out of a lot of situations with no assistance. And so you're done with that shit. You're, the 10 is like you've learned enough is enough. I'm not ever going to be in anything where the relationship is one sided. That's why this green, this white tar is here, because you have grown very sensitive to toxic relationships, to verbal abuse. And look what you're coming into. This is a love partnership. This is the two of cups, spiritual union, soul union, past life love. I just saw five, 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 um, five, 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 five. Yeah. So the, yeah, five, 10, 15, 20. So, and that's the two. See that? You see how that happens? So it was just five, 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 five on the clock, which reduces to 20. And we have the two of cups. The 20 reduces to two. So this is saying that you are coming into a spiritual union, a spiritual partner, a connection that is being blissed upon you by the divine. And we have fly away. You and this person are going to be in your own world because this is a connection that was preordained. We see this rainbow up here. This is like Mama Oya is changing your love connection. Remember, you have... Um, uh, what does it say? Relationship change. So if you're single, trust and believe you ain't for long, for much longer. You, you ain't going to be mingling for much longer. So let's see. Why is my art here? Follow your genes, synchronicity, relationship change, individuality, all of these beautiful cards. Why is this energy here? I have a message of love and life for my beloved Scorpios. I'm going to try to wrap this up before the one hour mark. And so look with this. We have the magician. So you've manifested this. Absolutely. We have the knight of chalices. So this is that message of love, offer of love. And then we have the king of cups. Somebody's coming in. This person has matured from the knight to the king. And this is someone who's prepared, ready. And then with this song, Fly Away, this person is really um, getting prepared to send in a message because birds fly, you know, so I feel like there is going to be like a message, unexpected message. I feel like you're manifesting this person and this person is absolutely manifesting you as well. There's a sense that this person's coming in to, they ain't coming to play no games and we have the knave of chalices. So see that there will absolutely be a new opportunity in love for you Scorpios. The knave is like the page. So you all are absolutely coming into a beautiful beautiful love connection and this is something that could be like a wish fulfillment this person has been digging on you they want to get to know you better you know what i'm saying and i feel like all the work you've done in their past has allotted you this blessing this beautiful union this connection this is going to make you so elated so happy and i feel like the two of you will share an affinity towards music you may like the same music you may enjoy making music creating music but this is a beautiful partnership and i love this shit this is beautiful so this is that person you're going to be able to lay with, play with, and pray with. I love it. That might be the title of the reading. And just a special announcement I want to make. I am actually um, going to be gifting this wand to one of my um, subbies, one of my soul family members. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to do a drawing 
uh, once I hit the 5,000 um, sub mark and I am going to gift this wand to someone. Um, as you all know, if you watch the other video, I just made this last week um, and Spirit told me to gift it to someone. Don't hoard it. <laughs> don't keep it. I don't have to keep everything I make. I can actually gift it to, you know, my beautiful soul family. So I'm going to leave, um, I'm going to probably, uh, do a video, another giveaway, uh, video to let you know how you could, you know, join and how you could draw, uh, join the drawing. Um, but yeah, so I'm spirit told me to gift this. So that's what I'm going to do. This wand, like I said, um, I um, found this beautiful uh, tree branch on one of my nature walks and it actually called to me like, yo, pick this up. <laughs> and so I took it home and I created this beautiful magic wand. So um, I'm going to be gifting this to one of you lucky, lucky soul family members. But I just that's just my way of saying thank you. I appreciate you all for tuning and tapping in. If you're new, uh, I hope you stay a while. I hope that the messages resonate. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like, share, subscribe. Definitely hit the bell notification to know um, whenever I upload. And if you are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Peace.